and I'll do it with you know straights or curves, whatever's comfortable. You can even use like uh, chunkers or blenders, whatever works for you. If I'm a little bit of a time crunch, which sometimes happens, you know, the owner's on their way or they're waiting, you're running a little behind. Sometimes using these chunkers, you can cover a little bit more surface area and get a pretty nice, tidy look with less effort. So I find myself grabbing these a lot when um, I might be in a little bit of a, a hurry. So just using these to just shape in that leg. And these are really good erasers too, so if the dog, like she's tap dancing a little bit, she's kind of moving around, this way if she takes a step and I kind of cut into the coat where I'm not expecting to, it's not the end of the world. Um, it'll make a little mark, but because the way the teeth are, it's not going to make a, a giant crater that I have to try to disguise. So these are generally kind of my go-to tools when I have, you know, a dog that's dancing around, a little nervous, I'm in a little bit of a... A time situation and that's why it's just really cool that us as groomers right now we have just so many tools and things available to us that they didn't have even 10 years ago so you know you got to utilize the stuff that's available and we have a lot of a lot of cool toys available to us one of them being the blending type shears so they're just kind of a hybrid between a thinning shear and a straight shear they have wider teeth um, than a thinning shear, but they have these little gaps between them that just kind of make it really easy to maneuver and get around quickly and get a pretty nice result. So on my pet grooms, I can get around a leg super fast.